let's look at some questions on uh, ratio and uh, percentages. So the first question is, uh, write this pattern as a ratio of the triangle to this rectangle. So basically you have to count how many triangles are there. So let's, let's count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rectangles. So this is how you write. So this is eight is two. So you put two dots. This is the ratio sign. And then you count the number of squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the ratio of triangle to square, or this type of square, is eight is to seven. And that's all. The ratio of square to triangle would be seven is to eight. Okay, for, in other words, what does this mean? For every 15, now where did you get the 15? So eight plus seven is 15. For every 15, you've got eight triangles and seven squares. Or if you want to say in terms of square to triangle, there are seven squares and uh, in every 15 of this, there'll be seven squares and eight triangles. Okay, so the next type of question that you may have is simplify this ratio. So this is 15 is to 40. Now, a ratio can be written as a fraction. Okay, so this is the same as writing 15 out of 40. So I would like to do without a calculator. So, well, can I write this 15 and 5 as a factor of 5? Well, I can write 15 as 5 times 3. And 80, I can write as 5 times 8. So the 5 gets cancelled. So this is 3 out of 8. And 3 out of 8, which is a fraction, if you want to write the same thing as a ratio, you write 3 out of 8, or 3 is to 8. And that's all. Let's move on. Write the ratio of 12 cows to 27 sheep and simplify. So the ratio would be 12 is to 27. That's all. And as we did in this question, you can simplify this by writing as a fraction. So this is 12 out of 27. Now you should be good in your times table. So well, I can see 3 and 27 can be written as 3. Sorry, 12 and 27 can be written as time, 3 times 4. And well, 27 is 3 times 9. Okay, so the common factor is 3, so the 3 gets cancelled, which is 4 out of 9. So I can say 12 is to 12 is to 27, which is a ratio, is same as 4 is to 9. 4 is to 9, that's all. So these two are equivalent ratios. Okay, so basically I've divided both 12 if you want to do in one step, well, three and three goes in 12 and three goes in 27. So 12 divided by three is four and 27 divided by three is nine. So you can write this directly if you're smart. Okay, write 1500 mils to five liters as a ratio. So you should know this fact, so let me change color. Uh, so I know one liter is how many milliliter? Well, you should know it's 1000 milliliter. Now, to simplify ratio, you have to have in the same unit. You can't compare apples with mangoes. Okay, you have to compare apple to apple. So this is a form, ratio is form of comparing. So well, that means five liter is 5000 milliliter. That's the basic fact you should know. So this is same as asking, this is 5 mil or 1500 mil is to 5000 mils. And as we did in the previous question, so this is same as 1500 or 1500 out of 5000. So well, I can write this as what? I can write this as a hundred, so this is uh, you can cancel these hundreds like this if you want to. You can cancel two zeros like this. So this is same as 15 out of 50. 
Now both I can write as a factor of phi, so this is phi times 3, and this is phi times 10. So the phi's gets cancelled, so this is 3 out of 10, and 3 out of 10 as a ratio is 3 is to 10. Okay, let's do a few more questions. Manufacturing costs were worth 33% of the total cost of an umbrella. What percentage of what percentage were the other cost? So you got 100% the total cost. So let's say the total cost is 100%. Total cost, let's say that is 100%. And the cost of manufacture is 33%. So the other cost, so other cost would be 100% minus 33%. So 100 minus 30 is 70, and then take away 3, which is 67%. Okay, so let's move on. Write this as a right, fraction. Write this decimal as a fraction in the simplest form. Okay, again, let me change color. So let me make it purple. So this is 0 0.125. First, if you want to write as a fraction, this is 120, this is same as writing 125 out of 1000. 125 out of 1000. And you can use a calculator. I'll show you how you can use a calculator to simplify this. Or if you don't want to use a calculator, 125 is 25 times 5. 25 times 5 is 125. And 25 times 4 is 100. So 25 times 40 would be 1,000. I'll show this. Suppose let me show this on a calculator. 25 times 5. Oops. 25 times 5 is 125, and 25 times 40 is 1000. So what can we do? We can cancel this 25, so this is 5 out of 8, sorry, 5 out of 40. And 5 out of 40 can again be simplified, which is 5 times 1, and this is 5 times 8. So basically this is 1 8th. One eight is 0.125. Okay, now if you want to do this, uh, or if you think about it, one eight. Okay, so let me explain. How can you, if you know, if you're good in fractions and decimals, you know half is 0.5 of 0 0.50. One quarter is 0.25 or 0 0.250. So if you know the facts, one eight. Some of you may be able to know 1 8 is 0 0.125. And this is how you get to the answer. Okay, let me do the last question. Write 155% 155 155 as a fraction. So 155% if is 155 out of 100. Is 155 out of 100. So this is, I know, 5 times 20 is 100. So I can also write this as 5 times something. So 5 times what? Now 5 times 3 is 15. So 5 times 31. So 5 and 5 gets cancelled, which is 31 out of 20. And 31 out of 20, you can write as a mixed number. 20 goes in 31 one times, and 11 is the remainder. So this is 1. 1 out of 11 out of 20. Okay, let me finish off with the last question. Write 3 quarter as a decimal. Okay, so 3 quarter, most of you should know is point is, is 75 out of 100. Is 75 out of 100. So how did I get that? I times this by 25. I know 4 times 25 is 100. So you have to do the same thing to the top number. So this is 0 0.75. You can use calculator. So let me show you. Suppose if you go 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. And if you want to write as 
a percentage three quarters we just wrote is 75 out of 100 and 75 out of 100 is 75 percent 